Bad Days Me paying tribute to the 60s and 70s uh, cop movies. It's about the Clay Goose's character. She um, is undercover and she comes home one day and she finds her daughter brutally murdered and then she decides to kill everyone that she knows in her job to try and find out who actually pulled the trigger. And then we have two cops played by Antio Febu and Donna Eyre as a sign to bring her home. It's all set in one day and everybody has a really bad day. Clay, go as in. Go home, she's tired, she's not going to got a long day tomorrow. So, her first, she goes, Marla, cut away to these boys, guns and everything, and yeah. then we're out of it. Working with Claire Goose, for me, was really, really good. She's so professional. She's an incredibly focused person, and she's an amazing actor. As a, as a director and writer, you can write a scene and create a scene, but it's the actor that has to perform within that moment as the camera turns. And Claire had what it takes to perform just at the exact point when the camera turns. She's amazing. I loved working with her. You want to go and wash it? No, no, I'm fine. Well, well, Donna um, started off as an actress anyway, um, but she's, she's more known for her presenting work on MTV. The thing that convinced me about Donna was that she, when she came into the audition, we gave her the sides and she learnt the sides word by word. So she knew everything that was on the side. So she didn't have to refer to the sides when she was doing her audition. And that alone convinced me that well, she was really serious about getting the role. But when she did that in the auditions, that really impressed me. So that's why I decided to take on Donna. And um, working with Donna, it, it, was, it was a great experience. I teased her a lot. That's yeah, that's the, the kind of stuff that's going to take time on the day, isn't it? I never thought that. I'm so glad you're here, Donna. Oh, did that, can I be right just for once? Let us move on. <laughs> I think she's a really good actress, personally. And uh, she's amazing to work with, and I love working with her, and I want to work with her again, so. OK, Billy, I'm moving as fast as I can. So, look, if you decide to leave this morning like we're supposed to, I will not be rushing like this. OK. I won't be saying it like that. Obviously. Yeah, I know, obviously, so. <laughs> then when I hired Gina to, to make the movie, Gina suggested Sarah um, to be part of the movie. You know, if we got Sarah, it worked, because Sarah's so famous, she's in Girls Aloud, so hopefully it will bring attention to our movie. So, and, and she was good. She wants to be an actress, and she, I thought she was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Just been when you see the crew coming towards here, I want you to cool. come to about here, really. Yeah. Anything I'd do differently if I did the film again, um, I would have more action. That's the only thing. I, I don't think the film had enough action, but then the uh, budget dictated um, what we could do. But, but saying that, I was happy with the results, happy with the film at the end of the day.